Yeah, green or yellow. I, when I looked at it, I thought like, okay, I hope he has a green it. pen or something like that. It'll pop. Very cool. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. I was able to add another signed Funko Pop to my autographed Funko Pop collection. This one is a Star Wars Pop, obviously, and uh, it's one of the more um, off-the-wall type um, signatures I've had, especially from a Star Wars movie where it's not like one of the lead actors. This one was a signing here locally that Steven Constantino was doing, uh, meet and greet, and he plays the Gamorrean guard in Return of the Jedi. Um, obviously, if you've seen the movie, which I imagine most have, um, he's one of Jabba's guards out there in Tantooine. Um, I think several actors, from what I researched, um, wore the suit and played that character. Um, he specifically played him in the scene where he was on top of the floating barge, and he explained to me that his um, claim to fame was that he was killed by Luke Skywalker. So we had one of those uh, quick scenes, uh, quick death. Um, he was only in this film. Um, but anything from the original, like Star Wars trilogy, is iconic. Um, even from the main characters down to, to the not so main characters. But, you know, you see this guy, you remember it from Star Wars. Um, we just never always think about who was in the suit during those scenes. So they had this uh, signing, meet and greet going on here at Asylum Records. Um, he wasn't charging too much for his autograph, so I wanted to add another piece to my autograph collection. Um, and what made makes sometimes meeting guys that aren't super super famous but they you know did work in movies that we like love and and cherish and grew up watching is that when they do these types of events they will sit there and they talk to you you don't feel rushed uh get a photo with them uh get your pop signed item signed and you can ask them a bunch of questions and they'll entertain you with the answers and you might walk away with some information that you didn't know before. Um, so I'm going to include some of what I asked him um, at the end of this uh, video. But this is a cool piece to add to the rest of the collection that I have with signed pops. I want to keep adding more to the Star Wars universe. Um, and this was just another one that I didn't expect to, to get signed this year. Just the signing that came up. Had the pop. Got it signed, and that's it. Kind of short story, but like I said, it's just one of those more random characters slash actors, celebrities that was doing a signing, and you wouldn't think, oh, I want to get the Gamorrean guard uh, Funko Pop signed. It's just more so like he happened to be doing a signing, and it it's kind of just, it's... It, it's interesting because you obviously you could see like uh, Billy D. Williams or Ray Park. I think Ray Park is now doing a bunch of signings. Um, he started doing them up again. Those are just more common appearances. This one was just like I didn't expect to see it. And I didn't expect this character from Star Wars um, to be something that I would get signed or, or would meet the actor who was in the suit. So super cool. A uh, little story there. Thank you. First of all, like, what would you say, like, your feelings here, like, on having a Funko Pop made after, like, a character that you portrayed in, like, Return of the Jedi? Like, that's, like, immortalized in, like, the, like, in the Funko Pop world and pop and, culture. I'm a Disney character, so it's absurd, to say the least. Now you're a Disney character. Yeah, it's absurd. <laughs> it's surreal and absurd. That's the best description I say. I think it's, yeah, it's cool. Like, not many people have, like, their own pop, so it's cool. Um, I'm also from Yuma, Arizona. I know they did some filming of Return of the Jedi. That's where we there, shot. That's where you guys shot, because yeah. I was wondering, because I know sometimes they might shoot in different locations the and stuff. They the barge. On the barge scene in yeah, Yuma. And they built the, uh, 
you know, Jabba's uh, barge and the skiff, of course. And they shot the wide angle. The desert's beautiful, so it just blended right in. And you guys shot like kind of in the middle of summer when it was hot, like, and then yeah, you were in that April. suit. So how did that feel? April. Well, it was hot as hell. But, you know, I, I was, Corey D. Williams and I had a band together, Billy Son. Billy took that and uh, he was invited to go stand in. It was kind of adamant, so uh, Billy asked me to go along and just continue to create music with him. And nice. by the third or fourth day, I asked if I could work for free, and they made me the guard. And then uh, Mark, I got killed by Luke Skywalker and sent to the pit, and I didn't realize that was a pivotal scene. Yeah. Until well, like years later, when the uh, picture came out with the mask off. It's iconic, like yeah. you, you and like a. Uh, Boba's like death in that like movie in that scene. There's just like Rancor's the other one that gets acts like that. But I'm in a single in the scene. You know, the other ones have different guards. There's three or four together usually. You know, well, I guess there's nine all together. Yeah. 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 As soon as I heard about that, and I got to meet uh, Phoenix Fan Fusion, Billy D. Williams was there, so yeah. I got to get my other pop sign. So it just for me is like somebody who grew up watching all these movies. It's super cool to to eventually yeah. get to meet you guys and then like for something like Funko Pops that I like to collect like it's like both worlds uh, kind of colliding and stuff so it's like super yeah, and, cool and, 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 and you know a lot of people get that and have Corey sign it as well me, Corey and then Billy took it they talk about that so sometimes I have him sign it to basically Corey and I so it's like what's a, it's like a mission for people to to kind of get find us as many as the signatures on there yeah well oh. posters that's another story I have some posters with, I don't know how, I don't even know how many signatures. It's just unbelievable. Those were some of the questions I was just wondering about because when I heard you were signing, I'm like, okay, I know they filmed something in my hometown and like just asking you about how it felt being in that and then also how it was to have a Funko Pop like uh, modeled after your character. That was, I thought it was kind of a joke when it first came out yeah. at uh, Comic Con. Yeah. Kind of bastardized. And um, sure enough, I love them now. I'm, I'm, I'm crazy with them too. Yeah, I started off with one, and now like I'm up to 140 different pops. Not as much as like this store has like on the walls, but um, the music but it is an addiction. Yeah. What about the big ones now? The big ones take up so much like space, but they're so cool. Like I just recently got like a Mandalorian one, and they take up too much space in my apartment. I'm definitely getting Baby Yoda. And what do you do for Telemundo? I work for Telemundo as a technical director. So right now I'm on break, so I was trying to debate whether I could make it during my break today or tomorrow. Um, it's like 20 minute drive from here. It's like near, um, closer to central Phoenix. Um, but I was able to make it today. So I, I really was looking forward to either today or tomorrow. So I brought my pop with me just to get it signed.